Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Casey Lattimore. Our top story today, demolition gets underway, again, for some of the most dilapidated public housing in the city of Columbia. Not long ago, it was Gonzalez Garden. This week, excavators began taking down Allen and Benedict Court. Our very own Maggie Davis takes a look into the issues surrounding the demolition and the redevelopment process. One of Columbia's oldest historical landmarks is on its last legs before it's torn down and completely redeveloped. City workers hired by Columbia Housing have begun to dismantle the buildings of Allen Benedict Court and are bringing demolition equipment on site this week. Allen Benedict Court was an affordable housing complex located right next to the Benedict College and Allen University. For the past two years, the 16-acre property has laid vacant and locked off to the outside. In 2019, after a horrific tragedy occurred, its 411 residents were immediately evacuated, leaving everything they owned behind. In the next two years, developers plan to construct a different style of neighborhood in place of Allen Benedict Court. I mean, that's that's a part of like gentrification, so it's just like, that's just what they're doing. And I mean, I feel like gentrification is like a good and a bad thing because like you displacing other people, but at the same time, you're making the community better. Allen Benedict Court was home to low and moderate income families. Vice President of Development Cindy Herrera says Columbia Housing is now focused on constructing homes for residents with diverse incomes. When we do different levels of incomes on the same site, we end up with more positive communities many times. The community seems hesitant towards the Housing Authority's plan of introducing mixed income residents. I feel like they're going about it the wrong way. Like, they, they should make more affordable housing. Like, don't put buildings right here if people that, that, that you see walking down the street can't afford them. Columbia Housing states that transparency is key and they will continue to provide long-term affordable housing. Instead of the 240 units currently in Allen Benedict Court, the redeveloped property will have 360 for seniors, families, and the workforce. Columbia Housing will also provide rental assistance and fixed rental rates for most of the units. What used to be suburban brick row houses will soon be an urban design that is very different to what the community is used to. Columbia Housing guarantees that construction will be complete mid-year 2023, allowing for occupants to move in by the end of December that year. For Carolina Insider, I'm Maggie Davis.